Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lena, and today I'm going to be doing a February favorites video. Sorry I haven't posted in a while, in case anyone cares. I just didn't know what to film. I have been wanting to film a favorites video, and February is my month. I was born in February, so I figured I should do like an homage video to it. So I'm going to be doing February favorites. And also wearing red in support of Women's Day, so happy International Women's Day to everyone. But yeah, let's get into this video. So my first favorites category is going to be cameras, because I'm really into cameras. If you guys seen my New York City vlogs, then you guys seen me and my boyfriend taking a lot of photos with this camera. Very old school. Don't see this every day. Pull it out and then you go like this. And you have to line it up and everything, make sure the person is in focus. This is a very different and unique way to take a photo and it's obviously way different than our technology we have these days. This is the hole that you look through to make sure your um, person is in focus. And then you just click on this right button. Sorry for that geeking out on the camera. But, and this is the type of film that comes out of that camera. This is the Fuji Film FP100C, and sadly they're discontinuing this film, which sucks. But hopefully, Impossible Project picks it up. So yeah, I love this film. It's way different. I think it's better than all those Instax mini film cameras and stuff like that because they just automatically have a perfect picture. This one you have to actually work for your photo. Some of them don't come out great at all. You know, it's awesome because every photo is not perfect and they have light leaks. I think that's what gives the photo character. And I'm gonna miss this film. But Impossible Project will pick it up. So the next camera, I've been talking about a few cameras. So hopefully you guys don't get bored. You guys can get these cameras too because they're these ones are more easy to get. More Polaroid cameras. This one right here is the Impulse by Polaroid. This one is very old school. I've seen your grandpa playing with this one back in the day. I love it. It's really easy to work with. You just look in the viewfinder and just click this button. If you guys get this camera, make sure to always have this down when you're not using it because then it wastes the battery. Really cool, easy camera to use. I got this one for $5 at a thrift store. So we put color film in that one. Here's how it comes out. It's a classic square Polaroid. Love it. I've been taking a lot of photos with these. Obsessed with this camera. But this film is expensive. It's like $25. And here's another camera that I've been using. This is a Polaroid SX70 with sonar. So this one is really cool. Let's get it. Oh, there you go. Here it is, guys. It's awesome. So basically this one, you gotta kind of work for it too. You gotta make sure the exposure is correct or else it's gonna come out kind of washed out or too dark. You hold on to this red button slightly and it focuses for you. And then when you're ready, you just click the red button and you close it like this. So this one's really easy and portable. It's not that light because it's like metal. So that's something, but it can fit anywhere. So that's great. We put black and white film in this one. It looks so pretty. So I really love that. This style, here's one photo. And if you guys, Follow me on Instagram because you've probably seen this photo already. Those are my cameras that I've been obsessed with. Oh, also disposable film. In New York, we bought a lot of disposable cameras, like three of them. And we were taking a bunch of photos everywhere. So I'll probably throw in a few of them so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And I love it. I just think that they, it's a cheaper way of getting like a film look it is film but the photos also are not perfect some of them are heavily exposed or underexposed it's just a different type of photo and it's way different than these because those ones they're just like funny candid moments i think those are really special cameras also cheap i think they're probably like 12 or less they're pretty cheap to, de to develop too so that's a cool alternative to like a film camera don't you guys like how i don't have anything ready even though i know what i'm gonna talk about for what i've been wearing i wear like the same thing like all the time I feel I just mix it, mix it up as much as I can. But I've been wearing these. These are all white Adidas. They're the superstar ones, but they're kind of brown and scuffed up. So I'm gonna have to clean them. But I love those. My boyfriend bought me them for Christmas. I don't really know what else I've been wearing. Cause I wear like a bunch of different things that I don't really have anything that I've actually like. I'm like, I just bought this. I'm gonna wear this all the time because 
Honestly, I haven't been gone shopping since like January, so yeah. Next thing, and this is kind of what I've been wearing also. This is a facial spray by Mario Badesco. I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this like in every YouTuber video, but I actually really like it. It smells amazing. I don't even know what it does, honestly. I just know it refreshes your face and it smells amazing. So. I always do that. I always open my mouth, like right at the end, and I get some in my mouth, so. Perfect time to use my fan, so. It's refreshing and it smells really good. It smells like roses. I'm gonna move on to my music favorites. So, let's get started. Oh, let me go get my dog. <sighs> okay, so for my music favorites, I have like only like two that are like mainstream people that I'm pretty sure you guys heard of, obviously, Beyonce and Lana Del Rey. I've been listening to Love by Lana Del Rey. I found it in February. I love that song. It speaks to me because I'm young and in love and all that. <laughs> but yeah, I really love that song. I love the music video also. And if you're gonna listen to that song, I say listen to it while watching the music video because it's really beautiful and it's so different and creative and cool as are all her videos. <laughs> oh yeah, and Beyonce, I've been listening to all night, like on repeat. I love that song. I just love belting out all night. And also watch the music video while you're listening to it because I think that video is really pretty also. Yeah, I just went into that kind of music. Pretty sure you guys probably already heard of, but if you guys want to listen to something different, I have a SoundCloud so you guys can follow me. I don't have like playlists. I just like songs and I just on my liked list. And everything on the top is all new stuff. I don't listen to the radio, so all the stuff I find is on the internet. For my last favorites category, stuff I've been watching, um, the first, of course, that I have to talk about is This Is Us. I freaking love This Is Us. It's my favorite show ever. I love that show. It's beautiful. Every single episode will have you in tears. And I think that show is really important for people to watch, especially watch it with your family because you guys need to remember to love each other. If you've heard it and never watched it, you guys should watch it. It's amazing. If you guys don't have cable, it's on the NBC website. Just search up This Is Us on there and you guys can watch it for free. Another favorite movie that, I've been, that I watched was Get Out, which is awesome, directed by Jordan Peele. I'm pretty sure you guys already heard of that movie, but if you guys haven't seen it, go watch it because it's really great. After you watch Get Out, watch the interviews that Jordan Peele did because he really like talks about the movie more in depth. Since you guys already know what's happened in the movie, you guys can understand why he did that and everything. So Itomi Michizuki, I've been watching her and I just feel like she radiates positivity and if I watch her long enough, I'll just, you know, have that same outlook in life. I watch her videos because I'm hoping it'll rub off on me. And I'm pretty sure you guys probably already watch her, so never mind. Another person, people I've been watching is Vaga Brothers and Amen and Joe because I want to travel and I feel like I get a lot of inspiration from them. I've been getting the travel bug ever since I went to New York and watching a lot of travel videos. I would like to do a question and answer video soon. So if you guys want, leave me questions so I can do one and think about anything. So just so you guys can get to know me more. Please like and subscribe and all that famous YouTube stuff. I will be doing more videos soon. Hopefully I do some travel videos because I really want to go somewhere. I just need to go. Just like a bird. And I need to fly away. Alright, see you guys next time. Bye guys.